Shabbat Shalom. I'm David Hester. This is going to be the completion of the uh, the Sabbath message. We're looking at the Gospel of Mark, chapter 1, verses 12 and 13. And, and I left off, I was talking about how, uh, about with the, the wild beast, and, uh, and now I want to pick up where it talks about the angels ministered to Yeshua. Okay, um, so this is probably at the end of of his of his intense, uh, you know, temptation, and uh, it shows Yeshua's authority over the angels. Okay, and the Bible says that angels are ministering servants. Okay, so uh, Yeshua had authority over the angels, and they were working for. Him. Okay, now if we if we look further in in Scripture, okay, we're going to do, uh, you know, fourteen and following and so forth in another study. But uh, so you know, because we do verse by verse study, you know that where we leave off today, we're going to to pick up the following week. But uh, you know, in the the Gospel of of Matthew, when it's going over the same experience, we see that. We see the description of the temptation, okay? And uh, I think the importance here is that, I'm not going to go very deep into this, but we learn a secret to deliverance and a secret to victory over unclean spirits, uh, you know, in this same, uh, same event being described in the Gospel of Matthew where it talks about how Yeshua overcame Satan. And, you know, this is, this is really important because every time Satan tempted Yeshua, Yeshua's response was, it is written. Okay? So today, as believers, when we are battling the devil, when Satan is in our midst, we need to stand on the Word of God, okay, and stand in the authority and the power of the Word. We need to know Scripture. We need to quote Scripture in order to be victorious over the enemy, okay? Today, Satan attacks believers very often with fear, okay? Well, First of all, the Bible says God didn't give us a spirit of fear, okay? But power, love, and a sound mind. Standing on the authority of the Word of God is victory, okay? Uh, when, whenever Satan throws those fiery darts that are talked about in Ephesians 6, we have the shield of faith to quench all the fiery darts of the enemy, Scripture says no weapon formed against us shall prosper and every tongue that rises against us in judgment we shall condemn. So we have victory over Satan in the name of Jesus using the Word of God. Okay, we were talking earlier about the abduction experience. Uh, Yeshua acquiescing to be abducted by an unclean spirit in Mark 1.12 so that he could purchase the victory for believers today over the abduction experience. And it's amazing how researchers like Joe Jordan, uh, you know, and, and, and others uh, in that field have documented cases of the abduction experiences being stopped by those who are able to mention the name of Jesus or to quote scripture. Okay, and that is interesting testimony that says a lot as to the, the true identity of these quote alien beings. Okay, they're really fallen angels. Okay, so it's, it's important to understand that uh, unclean spirits, okay, are demons. They're devils, okay, and devils 
are are fallen angels and and demons are the disembodied spirits of the giants that we find that we read about in Genesis 6 okay and you see demons lost their bodies in the flood but their, their spirits are eternal and they are you know according to uh, the, the book of Enoch they they are earthbound so that they're wandering the earth uh, harassing mankind okay and uh, of course these these alien entities they're they're in the heavens so uh, you know those are clearly fallen angelic entities now demons you know of course are, are sometimes you know uh, work together they're like the slaves of of the uh, the, the fallen angels but the the point that I'm trying to make here is that Yeshua had victory quoting the Word of God over Satan Satan tempted Yeshua with the world tempted him in his flesh okay the same temptations that Eve had in the garden Yeshua had in his temptation and Yeshua won victory over Satan in this abduction experience by quoting the Word of God that shows that we have authority today over these experiences in the name of Jesus in the name of Yeshua the Messiah if you would like to uh, speak with me further concerning this and you know get the uh, the research and 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 other information that I have just contact me uh, my email is David Hester at BibleHealth101.com. I know this is an interesting and uh, you know and, and compelling uh, theory here. This is not my theory. Uh, this is something that I found in the Fat News of Mark and and, and on a uh, and, and on a website uh, that that's going to be linked below an editorial that a buddy of mine wrote. Uh, his name is Brian uh, Cronin and. I just think it's excellent research, um, something uh, to be considered. Okay, if you disagree, okay, that's that's good. You know, um, we'll just agree to disagree, and we will um, we'll move on uh, in our studies of the Gospel of Mark. If you have any questions or comments, you know, please post them below this video. Uh, post them. Uh, in the comment section uh, or, or you know on the web page or or below the YouTube uh, video if you're watching it on YouTube and um, you know I, I'd, I'd love to uh, to discuss this with you uh, thank you for joining uh, my cyber fellowship today um, it, it's been a great Sabbath and I'm sorry I'm a little late uh, posting uh, these these videos for you today uh, but it's just kind of how it uh, kind of how it happened and um, I hope uh, hope that you've been enjoying these studies okay if these studies have been a blessing to you uh, feel free to uh, to send me a little note uh, it's, it's real encouraging uh, the, the notes that I do receive I think all of you who have who have sent me uh, uh, you know little notes uh, thanking me for this uh, this quick Sabbath program and uh, you know, I'm praying for you guys. You can know for sure that uh, that every one of you that, that listen that I know about are in my prayers on a daily basis. Okay, so thanks so much for listening to the show today, and God bless you.